Hello, welcome to our new video that will cover a really interesting topic and that's top 16 software failures. One of our subscribers asked a question. Why are we saying that testing is so important when on the other side we can see that QAs are underestimated? How come that QAs are not just needed but are really really important part of the team when they are not valued that much. So we decided to create a video on that subject. Why is testing so important? And how can we learn the best? By giving examples. We're going to present you one of the most interesting and most expensive software failures in the history. Why there were failures, one might wonder? Well, maybe because it's not tested at its best. Don't get this wrong, a software can never be 100% bug free, no matter how long you test it, as we already mentioned in one of our first videos. But we always have to give our best in order to prevent costs and to take care of our client's reputation. These computer bugs left significant impact on the people who experienced them, and we hope that they'll offer valuable lessons that we can apply to our own work and projects. Let's see what they are. Number 16. Losing $460 million in 45 minutes. On August 1st, 2012, Knight Capital deployed a new software update to their production server. At around 8 a.m., Staff in the firm received 97 email notifications stating that PowerPack, a defunct internal system that was last used in 2003, was configured incorrectly. That was the first warning sign. At 9 a.m., the New York Stock Exchange opened for trading, and Knight Capital's first retail investor of the day placed an instruction to buy or sell their investment holdings. Just 45 minutes later, Knight Capital servers had ex executed 4 million trades, losing the company $460 million and placing it on the edge of bankruptcy. Some shares of the NYCE shot up over by over 300% as high-frequency trading algorithms for other firms exploited this bug. Ultimately, Knight Capital was fined an additional $12 million by the Securities Exchange Commission due to various violations of financial risk management regulations. Number 15. Toyota Prius recalled over software glitch. In February 2014, Toyota Motor recalled 1.9 million newest generation Prius vehicles worldwide due to a programming error that caused the car gas electric hybrid systems to shut down. The automaker mentioned that the problems were with the software test settings on the latest Prius generation that initially went for sale in 2009 and could damage transistors in their hybrid systems. The identified problem could turn on the warning lights and trigger the vehicle to shut down the power on a full safe mode. Can you imagine the cost of this? Number 14. 911 call outage. In April 2015, emergency services got sold for 6 hours for 7 U United States. United States states. This affected 81 call centers. Literally speaking, about 6,000 people made 911 calls and were unable to connect across the seven states. The nationwide outage was the third major outage in three years across the telecom operators of the 911 call system. This raised worries amongst federal regulators pertaining to the vulnerability of the country's emergency response system. Number 13. Race conditions in Therac 25. The Therac 25 was a radiation machine manufactured in the 80s, 
which offered a rev revolutionary dual treatment mode. It was also designed from the outset to use software-based safety systems rather than hardware controls. The removal of these hardware safety measures had tragic consequences, as race conditions in the code base led to the death of three patients and caused injuries to at least three other patients. The manufacturer ultimately became the target of several lawsuits from families of the victims. Number 12. Reeboks Free Trainers In November 2013, sports retail Reebok trainers worth £100 were getting picked up for free from the online site, where the customers were being charged only for delivery. While the company did not honor the orders and apologize to the customers, they refunded the delivery charges and additionally gave 20% off for their next order. The pricing glitch went viral on Facebook and other sports and price deal forums, where shoppers rushed to get a grab of £99 CrossFit Nanospeed footwear for just £9 postage. What is the lesson here? When taking care of an online shop website, prices of items must be checked properly. Number 11. Airbus Software Bug Alert Software fault was a cause of Airbus A400M plane crash. In May 2015, Airbus got scared when he reported a software bug in its aircraft. The company immediately took the action to fix this issue, which was a fatal crash that happened in Spain. Before this action, a test flight in Seville already announced the injury of two people and four Air Force crew members died in this incident. When human victims are included in the price, that is their largest price to pay. Wouldn't you agree? Number 10. Leeds Pathology IT Crash In September 2016, Leeds Teaching Hospital, NH Trust, one of the Europe's largest teaching trusts witnessed a pathology IT crash that resulted in a delay of operations for almost 132 patients. Leeds Teaching holds a budget of 1 million, one, sorry, 1 billion pounds and employees over 16,000 staff. It serves 780,000 people in the city and provides expert care for 5.4 million patients. The outage further affected Bradford's Teaching Hospital, NHS Foundation Trust, GP services in Leeds, and that is a very, very huge impact. Number nine. The Ariane 5 disaster. On June 4, 1996, the very first Ariane 5 rocket ignited its engines and began speeding away from the coast of French Guyana. 37 seconds later, the rocket flipped 90 degrees in the wrong direction and less than 2 seconds later, aerodynamic forces ripped the boosters apart from the main stage at a height of 4 kilometers. That caused the self-destruct mechanism to trigger and the spacecraft was consumed in a gigantic fireball of liquid hydrogen. This disastrous launch cost approximately $370 million, led to the public inquiry and through the destruction of the rocket's payload, delayed scientific research in the workings of the Earth's magnetosphere for almost four years. The Ariane 5 launch is widely acknowledged as one of the most expensive software failures in history. Number 8. Screwfix.com glitch In January 2014, every team in the Screwfix catalog got priced at £34.99 that included items costing almost £1,500. 
Smart customers, what did they do? They quickly collected goods that were thousands after the news was spreading across Twitter. Eventually, what happened? Well, the website had to close down. Pretty shame. Number seven, super buggy spacecraft lounge. Software failure types are different for sure, but Boeing's glitchy software errors are hard to ignore. Boeing's disastrous software not only killed 346 people, but also destroyed 737 MAX aircraft. Spacecraft provided successful, but due to the technical coding errors in the company software, the initiative on investigating the software was taken by NASA. Number 6. RBS payment failure. About 600,000 payments failed to enter the accounts of the RBS customers. Payments of wages, tax credits and disability living allowance were among those that failed to be credited to accounts. In 2012, the RBS group was hit by a major IT meltdown that led to a large fine. About 6.5 million RBS customers had to face an outage caused due to a batch scheduling software glitch, where the bank was fined, guess how much? 56 million pounds. That's a lot of money. Number five, United Kingdom government's new online farming payment system gets delayed. In March 2012, uh, 2015, the United Kingdom government delayed the launch of 154 million pounds rural payment system. The system is an online service for the farmers to apply a common agricultural policy payments from the EU. This online service was supposed to be up and running by May 2015 it got delayed due to the integration issues between the portal and the rules engine software. It was then not expected to be up even by 2016. People who expected this kind of financial support had to deal with some serious financial crisis to sell their land and animals to buy the food for the rest of their animals, for example. To this date, the RPA has been fined 661 million pounds by the European Union for the late payments. So here we have double trouble. Users of the system were disappointed and plus RPA had to pay for their mistake. Integration points in software development have to be taken seriously, whether it's a back and front end integration or software compatibility with the related hardware. Number four, Interlogix recalls personal panic devices. In October 2016, Interlogix, a wireless personal panic device manufacturer, recalled about 67,000 devices to its inability to operate during the emergency situations. So when it's more needed, <laughs> the probable cause for its glitch in operations was that, was that the device was unable to communicate with the security system during an event of emergency. The way out uh, was the manufacturer replacing the devices. Furthermore, the consumers could contact their professional security system installer and call for free monitoring and if required a free replacement. So, uh, this is a special case when you send out the devices to the customers and software on that devices is not really tested enough. So what you can do in that case, you cannot just patch some uh, bug fix. You have to replace the devices and contact the customers in person. And that is really hard. Number three, Nissan's recall. For over two years, Nissan recalled over a million cars, thanks to a software glitch in the airbag sensory de detectors. Practically, 
the affected cars were unable to assess whether an adult was seated in a car's passenger seat and consequently would not inflate the airbags in case of a crisis. Number two, chaos and United Kingdom airports. On December 12, 2014, UK's busiest airports got stranded due to a system glitch at the main National Air Traffic Control Center in Swanwick. Planes were grounded and passengers got delayed. The impact was enormous and the runways got closed at Heathrow, which is one of Europe's busiest airports. The transport secretary called this unacceptable. Number 1. Yahoo Reports Breach Amongst the most recent data breaches on September 22, 2016, Yahoo confirmed a data breach that exposed about 500 million credentials, credentials that take back to four years. It is one of the largest credential leaks at 2016. The company believes that this was a state-sponsored breach where an individual on behalf of the government executed the entire hack. It further urged users to change their passwords and security questions Luckily, companies said that sensitive financial data like bank accounts and passwords was not stolen as a part of this breach. So what did we have here? We had some security issues here. Well, I hope that these examples were interesting enough and that we learned something from them. Now let's jump to the conclusion why testing is important. Testing is important because good testing provides the good quality of the project product and nobody needs a product that cannot serve the purpose. It would be a waste of money. Developer cannot test his code because he would not test it objectively. Testers try to use the product as the end user, so he's trying some real case scenarios while developers write their code that fulfills some criteria in coding style, need a structure that supports front-end needs and database needs that can support a logic that is created and which is the heart of the system. But not everything can be taken into consideration when developers make their code. So that's why testers are there to find the gaps and missing pieces. Of course, testers should not wait for feature to be developed to start testing and participating in the whole process. He should be there at the very beginning of the project development to set some ground, to find those gaps and to start as early as possible so the cost would be reduced. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have some questions, you can post them below the video and please like, share and subscribe and leave comments below. Goodbye.